Welcome back to the Body Coach TV. Today I'm joined by Tom from Techno Gym, who is a kettlebell master trainer at Techno Gym. Kettlebell awesome. master trainer, and he's the man. Basically, make sure if you haven't seen it, go back and check out our kettlebell technique workshop where Tom took me through the basic moves that we're going to put through on this workout. But today's workout is basically going to be a beginner's kettlebell workout. So make sure you do a warm up, follow along in the same pace as us. We're going to do five moves. Is it five moves? No. Four, Four moves. moves, and we've got five rounds. Exercise number one is going to be? Swing. Two-handed swing. Two-handed kettlebell swing for? Ten reps. Ten reps, right. So, let's take it away. Ready? Ten swings. Do it. So you can talk through the technique as we go, Tom. So make sure we're snapping our hips through as we come up. And making sure that we squeeze our bum. Brace the abs. Keep our shoulders back as ten. much Good. as possible. That's, That's ten. ten for me. Into cool. Straight into the goblet squat. Ten goblet squats. Nice, easy pace. First move of bum goes back, get to the top, squeeze your bum at the bottom, try and stay nice and tight through your abs as well, seven, and then see if you can go at the same pace as your buddy, nine, and ten, good, next exercise, single arm swing, so straight in, weaker side first, same movement as the two handed swing, just a little bit more challenging now, just one side, Two and one, good. And the fourth exercise? Last one, suitcase deadlift. Okay, so. So just sit outside the foot. Left hand. Nice and tight through the shoulders, weak side first. How do you come down? Try and stay as level as possible. Little pause at the bottom. And just making sure that it is a deadlift and not a squat, so bum back. Not too much knee bend. I like that one. Five? Yep. Yeah. Same again? Same again. And then again, one. squeeze that shoulder as hard as you can. Five. Brilliant, so we've got a 30 second rest. That's round one, we're gonna go same again. Four moves, four more rounds. You can already see our heart rate's up, I'm out of breath. We've chosen the weight, I'm with 12 kilograms. Tom's a bit of a hard geezer, he's got 20 kilograms. But basically, how do people choose their weight? Uh, it's gonna be based on the hardest movement. So probably the single arm swing. It's gonna be the most challenging movement. So you want one kettlebell for the whole thing, so it keeps your heart rate up. The last thing you wanna do, be dancing around, changing kettlebells, giving your brain a chance to switch off and have more rest. So, whichever the hardest movement is, single arm swing, yeah. nail it on your weak side with great technique, and then if that feels really good, you can increase the weight. They do sell like two and four kilogram, but I mean, for a swing, you just don't, your muscle group's too big to feel that, right? You need, a, I'd say an eight kilograms minimum for a girl, maybe, Yeah. So and beginner, 12 for a guy. Yeah, beginner female, probably an eight. Right, second round, 12. so kilograms. So we go 10 swings again. Really think about working your glutes and hamstrings. Four, five. Again, as you get tired, just really make sure you're switching everything on, especially the abs. Nine, ten. Good. So, up into the goblet squat. Ten squat. Ten reps. One, let's go a bit slower. One, good. Two, three. We're clicking, aren't we? Clicking knees. Is that my knee? That was your hip. Four, five. Six, breathe in the way down, and exhale as you come up. So breathe in, and exhale as you come up. I've lost count, so what we on? Nine. Ten. Okay, so left, single arm swing. Sweet. I like the way this kind of flows, don't it, really, when you get going. The moves flow into each other. Well, it's less rest, isn't it? <sighs> okay, and swap. It's good. Really trying to keep that shoulder tight at the top. Right, so I'm gonna go left hand first, yeah? Yeah. Right, nice and stable. <laughs> Same breathing as the squat, in on the way down, brace at the bottom, and then out at the top. That's a great exercise. When you do it with a single arm like this, you know, with one kettlebell, it's really challenging your opposite side of your body to work and strengthen up and stabilize. Woo! Well done. Right, two rounds down, three to go. Same again, four moves. Try and stick with us. If you need a bit more rest, you can always pause the video for a little bit, but try and get back in and try and do the full five rounds. Oh, it's a great workout. I think people that are looking for a gym at home, it's a good bit of a kit. So it's a good bit of kit to have. 
you know, it's not much to invest in. How much do these cost, mate? Like a 12 and a 16? Uh, you're probably looking 50, 60 quid. Yeah, so it's a one time purchase. It's yeah. a month in the gym, right? Exactly. Take a holiday with you. If you're going away in the car this summer, stick it in the car, stick it in the boot. Hand luggage on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we go then. Third set, 10 double handed swings. Let's go. Ten, good. So, up into the goblet squat. Third set. Slow again. Yep. Good one. Come on, clicking now. <laughs> Sounds like cap guns going off. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ah, and ten. Brilliant. Right. You're a fair play, doing that swing. Yeah, so five on the uh, left. One. I've got a couple more kilos of body weight on you, Joe. Well, yeah, I mean, it's only fair, eh? I'm definitely gonna stick to 12 a couple of weeks, and I'll progress. The key with training here, like anything, is you know, set yourself goals, progress. Don't get stuck on the same weight for too long, because your body does get used to it. You know, give it something to work for, give it something to progress and adapt to. So, little progressions each week is key. Three, four, oh, five, good. So from the side, let's face this way, Tom. Just to make sure they can see and to tell me if I'm doing anything out of line, yeah? A bit more knee bend. More knee? Yeah, nice. Last one. And rest, good. So, three down, two to go. Lovely little work like this. Gonna grab a quick drink. You got a drink, dude? You alright? Fortunately, I do. Grab one. If you don't do that much uh, weight training either, like if you don't do much stuff with, with resistance at all, like if you do loads of bodyweight stuff, like this will hit you really hard. Yeah, it's great. You it might think it, 12 kilos doesn't sound like much, but like it'll hit you really hard if you're not used to it. Yeah, and it's one of those things like it's getting your body moving in the right way. Like you can go in and step in a squat machine and do a Smith, you know, Smith machine leg press, but you can cheat using different muscles. When you're doing this with one kettlebell, there's no cheating, there's no hiding. You have to work the muscle groups you're forcing your body to use. And it's opening up your hips, your shoulder mobility. It's a really great bit of kit. So, round number four of five. That's right, isn't it? Round number four, yeah. Hope so. Let's go side on and check, check, check my technique on this swing here, just in case. Yeah, I'm oh. traveling back. Yeah, nice. It's really good. Okay. Start those hips through every rep. Especially you now you start to get tired. Get everything tight. Make sure we're not over arching at the top. Good. So the muscle you'll be feeling there is your hamstrings and your glutes. You've really got to squeeze and tense and clench to feel it working. Right. Goblet squat from the side. So right, here we go. Inhale and then exhale. Come up. So how many years you been kettlebell training? Uh, about nine now. Really? Yeah. How many times a week would you do? Something like this? Uh, probably once a week. Right. And then there'd be, I use the kettlebells for like some strength training. So less, two more, less high rep, less intense. Right. Right, single arm swing, left arm. Let's go. Really good for simple, simple things like carries. Just make them a little bit harder. All right. So five on each arm, swap. So you don't have to do, Really complicated movements. It's just another tool at the end of the day. Oh mate, that's a beast that one. Right, so left arm, suitcase, imagine this is a briefcase, picking it up. One. So much harder using a mirror to stay yeah. stable. You can really see yourself leaning on one side, can't you? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Five, brilliant. Mate, fair play with that 20. I've seen kettlebells, they go up to like 40, 50 kilograms, don't they, sometimes? They do. What's the heaviest you've ever done this kind of workout with, would you say? Uh, like probably a 36. Really? Yeah. <sighs> you nutter. What, you could do this round with 36 quite comfortably? Uh, it won't be comfortable, it'd be hard, but yeah, I could give it a shot. Wow. But that's, that's practice, right? Yeah. You keep doing this for a few weeks, vary the reps, vary the movements, add 
go from a 20 to a 24, 12 to a 16, you just keep jumping up. But the great thing about kettlebells as well, I think this is a great thing, maybe it's just me, is that they only go up in four kilos. So if you're gonna go, you gotta like, commit, you gotta commit to that change. Commit, yeah. Right, so another 10 seconds rest. You've done really well, guys. Thanks for taking part in this video. We've got one more round. If you did miss the technique workshop, go back onto the channel and find out. I'll put it in the link below because it's really going to get you doing all these exercises with good form, good technique because you don't want to injure yourself. People going cold, start swinging 20 kilograms around and then bang, they've done their hammy or their hip flexor. So it's important you get the techers right, yeah? And actually, after this, we're going to have a little break. And we're going to come back in and do another one a bit more advanced. So if you found this easy, do it for a couple of weeks. Get your techers and then we'll go and do the advance, which is going to be step it up again, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so final set, facing forward, 10 swings for the win. Last set, last set. Right, last set, lots of fatigue, heart rate's up. Even more risk of injury. So you've got to stay really focused. Glutes, abs. Good. Kettlebell goblet, let's go. Let's do a little pause as well, like hold. Really get the tension and power up. Two, three, four. It's a great little workout, this one, mate. Five, six, drive those knees out. Seven, back straight. Eight, strong core. Nine, last rep. Ah, yeah. Oh, that little pause makes a difference, doesn't it? That was not a little pause, Joe. <laughs> I'll give you that, mate. So left leg, sorry, left arm swing, five left reps. Arm. I'm getting sweaty palms, I can feel this going. <laughs> I might knock the camera right out. Three, four, five, and switch. They don't travel as far as you think they're gonna travel. Well, we could test it out. Three. That floor's padded, right? Oh yeah, very much. It'll bounce back and knock me in the teeth. All right, so they've done them. Into the briefcase. Uh, Briefcase, deadlift. Let's go. One, two, last set. Three, best set. Four, five, good. Other side. Oh, got the old clicky knees. Getting old. Got half right, I think. Two, three, four, oh, and five. Mate. Ooh, really enjoyed that. It's a great workout. Hey, man. Thanks for coming in. I'm going to double. Hang on, I'm double. Sure. One, two. So listen, guys. Hope you enjoyed that kettlebell workout. Do be sure to check out the technique one. Get familiar with this one again as well before you move on to the next one. The next one we're going to do is going to be more intense. Let's go and grab a drink, have a little laugh, and have a break, and come back. Yeah. Deal. See you soon, guys. Cheers. See you guys.